All right, what's up, guys? Feels like we haven't done one of these in a long time. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to UConn Phil for another unboxing. This one I'm excited about. Found this guy on clearance um, last week, $24.99. Been looking everywhere for this guy for clearance for $24.99. So really happy to have him. Happy to show him to you guys. This, of course, is the gold label. Batman the Animated Series Deluxe Batman with the nice base and the lightning effect. Let's take a look at that lightning effect before we do anything. There it is. Looks awesome. Looks very, very cool. Excited to get this one out of the box. Um... So yeah, let's take a look at the packaging real quick. As you can see, there is a little port there to do, do the lightning, make sure it works, everything else. It is a gold label, of course. Batman looks really cool in there. Let's see if we can kind of pull it forward here a little bit so we can look at the back and the side of the packaging. There's Batman the Animated Series. Of course, we all love that. And the back gives a nice promo shot of the Dark Knight and kind of what you get, the buildings and the lightning. Lightning lights up. Yes, it does. So yeah, really cool figure. Hope that it's going to be good. Um, we'll kind of take a look. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Take a closer look. All right, guys, here he is all out of the package. <laughs> I got to tell you, I was laughing, giggling to myself. It's a good thing no one else is here. Giggling to myself the entire time I was taking this uh, this figure out of the box because the proportions are just so ridiculous that it's comical. I mean, you can tell by those skinny little legs. I know what they're going for. They're going for the animated series, but man, the proportions on this thing are just hilarious. Let's go ahead and start with the accessories. I'll show you what he comes with. Um, he, of course, does come with a batter rain, so that is very, very basic. There is almost nothing to that batter rain there, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> whatever. And then he also comes with his grapple, what is this called, a grapple launcher grapple gun. Um, this piece is, is not removable. The um, spear part is not removable. It's an okay looking thing. It is what it is. I think... Um, I think they could have probably paid a little more attention to this. Maybe had this part removable, but uh, you know it's fine for what it is. Not not nothing nothing ex super exciting. Also comes with open hands, he, um, open hands to hold these weapons. So it comes with two open hands for the weapons. So I have it lit up on the base. Let's go ahead and take a look at the base. We're gonna take Batman. We're gonna set him down. Base is cool. I mean, if that's not an animated type base, really cool. You can kind of see the LED in the background. Catches the lightning and stuff. Um, the quality is not great. This building, I guess, right here is pretty loose on my copy. It's not the best in the world. But I mean, you know, for 25 bucks for getting this guy in clearance, it's not a bad looking thing. You've got a nice shadow on this base. And of course, the lightning looks really good too. Uh, there is three modes for this, as you can see right here. Let me see if I can get down in it. So there's an on and off, and then, of course, a try me. So if you want it to stay on, you're going to have to throw it in on. Of course, off is off. Try me, try me. So there you go. But a cool-looking base. I think um, you could almost have a, a nice little pose with him fighting the Joker. I think that would look cool. That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. But uh, it's a nice display piece. I think this figure and this base work better as a display piece than, say, an action figure. I, I really believe that. Um, I kind of like the stair too. There's to give you a better idea of what it looks like. And then here's the back, which no one will ever see. These are kind of hollowed out, unfortunately. But that's the back. We we kind of expect that kind of stuff to happen. So a nice base. I really like it. One bad thing is there only is one peg for one figure. I kind of would have liked to have another peg to like put a joker on there or something. But hey, that's all right. All right. So the Batman himself... <laughs> like I said, it's kind of comical just due to the fact that he's so out of proportion. And let's go ahead and move the base because that's kind of taking up some real estate here. Okay, the cape itself. Let's start with the cape. The cape's going to take up a lot of room and the cape's going to stay like this. There is no secondary cape. The cape and cowl are static. You cannot remove them or anything. I guess if you took off the head, you could try, but uh, I wouldn't do it. I do like the way it's kind of swooshing to the side. That gives the effect that there's wind going on and that sort of thing. I think the uh, the bat logo looks good. Um, this leg on mine is a little loose, so that's a little concerning. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's get you a good look at that face there. Pretty solid looking face. 
Um, so yeah, not bad. Let's go ahead and go over articulation. The head is going to move a little bit. It's not a ton. He will move about that far. Goes that far. You probably could move him around more, but I'm not going to do it. As far as looking up, very minimal looking down. Also very minimal. Unfortunately, he does have an ab crunch that will help him to look down further if you so desire. Arm articulation is going to be a little bit hindered by the cowl here just due to the fact that it goes over his shoulders. But his shoulders will come out about that far. He does have a bicep swivel and also a shoulder swivel. So that's nice. Single point of elbow movement. So that's okay. Not the best in the world. He does have a little bit. This is kind of, this is an animated figure. So he's got a little bit of cell shading there on the blue. Kind of give that, that look. Um, wrists will move in and out, up and down. And of course, you've got rotation there as well. For his ab crunch slash swivel, he moves pretty good. He crunches down okay. Crunches up really good. You're going to get an extra little bit of kickback too on the waist so you can look up really nicely looks down fairly decent problem with mine is he won't stay i can push him down but i can't get him to stay he kind of just resets so i don't like that on my copy um as far as the waist itself goes a little bit of turning goes there not a ton you can tell you can hear by that sound it is a little tight but it's not terrible I think where this figure's got problems is in the legs. And honestly, that's most McFarlane figures. Problems lie in the legs. So we can go out a little bit. That's about as far as he's going to do the splits. There is a little tiny bit of rotation kicking out. That's as far as he's going to go. That's it. Kicking back. I'll go a little bit further. Double knee will do the job completely. You will get in double knee all the way. So that is good. Um, ankle, we, well, look, before we get to ankle, let's do the toe joint, toe joint, and then ankle is on a ball joint, so it's going to go up and down and all around, so that's not bad either. It's really just a matter of stability and his legs being so skinny, so that's the part that I really have a problem with. As far as the cape itself goes, like I said, it's static, but you got a nice blue on the inside. Let's see if we can pick that up. Nice blue on the inside. You also got some blue cell shading over on his uh, crotch piece there. And a little bit, let's see, let me take a closer look. No, that's about it. So on the arms and on his, uh, I guess his Batman undies, if you want to call it that. But a decent looking figure. I mean, this is probably everything that you can expect an animated Batman in DC multiverse size to be. So really not bad. All right, let me go ahead, put him on the uh, base. I'm going to go ahead and get the Joker and do a little bit of a display for you guys. Give you some final thoughts. All right, guys, so there you go. This is pretty much how I'm going to display this. I think this looks really cool, putting the Joker in with Batman. The only problem is that cape flails out so bad, you got to kind of stick it behind the lightning a bit. But overall, this is kind of a cool display piece. I like the light. I really like the base. Um, kind of 50-50 on the Batman, how much I like him. But the Joker really rounds it out good, I think. I, I really like this. And um, pretty solid display piece. I'm not going to move the Batman around too much. Uh, I'll probably leave him in a static pose and uh, have him display like that. So, yeah, pretty solid piece. Clearance now at Target, $24.99. Um, I've heard people getting it even cheaper than that. Some even like 10 bucks. So if you can find it less in retail, I would not pay $50 for this personally. But if you can get it for $25, I'd definitely go for that. I think it's worth $25 due to the lights and due to the base. So yeah, definitely go for it if you can find it for $25. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty cool piece. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. You guys have a great Easter. God bless you. And we will talk to you soon. Later, y'all.